everybody, this is Matthew Filipovich from Heads Up and Go Left TV, and welcome to the Week in Cartoons, where we gather an entire week's worth of Heads Up cartoons into one nice, convenient location. So what do we have in store for you this week? Well, we have Michael Savage talking about how Al-Qaeda might be using Mexicans as weapons of mass destruction. We have taxpayer money being used to offshore American jobs. We have Republicans bragging about stripping funding for pandemic flu preparation. We have Rush Limbaugh's problems with Arlen Specter and the Humane Society, but we're going to kick things off with Texas Governor Rick Perry talking about secession and swine flu. What are we waiting for, everybody? Let's watch some cartoons. And up. Yeah, well, we may not do it now. Remember, Texas could secede from the Union at any time. I mean, we are a pretty independent lot down here. We don't need no stinking federal government. Governor Rick Perry, what's that? Swine flu? Uh, so what I meant to say is, we love the federal government, especially when they're sending pandemic flu medication. And I didn't mean secede from the union, I meant succeed with the union, huh? Huh? Seriously, give us the drugs. Friends, Senator Arlen Specter has switched from Republican to Democrat, and I say good riddance. The departure of moderates like Specter leaves the GOP closer and closer to the fringes, which is where it ought to be. And now a word against animal cruelty for the Humane Society. What? The Humane Society? You call yourself a Republican? You're against dogfighting? You socialist, communist, socialist? You you better apologize to your crazy friend's base. I'm, uh, sorry. I love cruelty to animals. That's better. Now let's go kill us something for a... Senator Collins, given the potential swine flu outbreak, do you regret that you and fellow Republicans succeeded in stripping funding for pandemic preparation and even bragged about it on your Senate website? Well, who would have thought that businesses and cities being shut down due to disease would have a negative effect on the economy? And how about the fact that Republicans are still filibustering Kathleen Sebelius to head Health and Human Services because she's pro-choice? HHS is in charge of the CDC, the Center for Disease Control? Well, I'm doing my part. I am going to go pro- Pray that pro-lifers don't get swine flu. Secretary Geithner, after legislation to prevent it was watered down, it's being reported that banks that received billions in TARP funds, Bank of America, Bank of New York Mellon, are using that money to offshore jobs to countries like India. Oh, so they're using taxpayer money to ship American jobs overseas. What would you have us do? Force them to use taxpayer money to employ Americans? <laughs> that is so protectionist. This is Michael Savage in the Savage Nation. Now I'm saying, what are the odds that the swine flu was created by Islamic terrorists? That they concocted it and planted it in Mexico? Because the Mexicans are the perfect mules for the virus. I'd say the odds are pretty big. That's what I'm saying. And I ain't gonna eat in no restaurants like a moron. Because it's clear to anyone who's not an idiot that Al-Qaeda is using the Mexicans as weapons of mass destruction. We'll be back on the Savage Nation. Mm -hmm.